the internet. It's changed everything from the way that we shop to the way we communicate and collaborate. Yet the church, who should be the most creative and innovative, has fallen far behind. And I want to change that. My name is Jeremy Cole. I'm the pastor of Mosaic Church here in Dubai. So in 2017, I was flying from Bali, Indonesia back to Dubai, and I landed the Boeing 777 for the last time. God was calling me from my 20-year career as an airline pilot to become a pastor. You know, as a new pastor, I ask lots of why questions. You know, is a welcome, a time of worship, a sermon, and maybe a closing song at the end? The way that I've been doing church for the past 40 years, is that the best way to spend our limited time together? And what I found was a clear no. According to the latest data from the Barna Research Group, 50% of Christians are tired of the normal church experience. But worse yet, the data also showed that weekly church attendance in the USA over the past 15 years has dropped from 48% to just 29%. The problem is, is that if we continue to do the same things, we're gonna continue to get the same results. There's got to be a better way. So I prayed and I researched and I, I prayed some more. I came up with two questions that helped me design the church of the future, a better way, a more effective way of doing church. So here they are. What does online do better than in-person services? And what does in-person services do better than online? You see, I think online is better at reach. I can reach my neighbors in the country next door. I know it's better at content delivery. I can watch a sermon, pause it when needed to take some notes, rewind it if I didn't understand something. You know, it's better at convenience. We can watch the best preachers in the world 24 seven whenever it's best for us. Well, in person, well, it's better at community. Friendship is just better in person. Uh, worship is better in person. You know, there's something special about being in the same room with Christians singing together. And it kind of, it creates this feeling that you don't get online. You know, it's better at praying together. When someone comes and puts their hand on my shoulder and prays for me, it's, you know, it's better in person. So I decided if online is better at this and in person is better at that, why don't we design our Sunday services around these ideas, the way that they're just naturally designed? So for the past 15 months, we've been testing out these ideas with great success. We essentially, we've reduced our sermon time from 40 minutes to 20 minutes, again, because you can get the best preachers in the world whenever you want. And with those 20 minutes that we saved, we do more of the things that in-person is just naturally better at. We break up into groups and we have discussion questions around the sermon. Uh, we break up into groups and we, we pray for each other. Uh, we do an extended time of worship and communion. And for the past 15 months, our average attendance has grown by 133%. Now, our budget has nearly doubled. And that growth has been fueled by the hardest group to reach, young adults and families. We found a better, more effective way of doing church. Our pilot project is a success, and we need your help. Future generations of Christians are at stake. You see, I don't have a goal to grow my church to become a mega church. My goals are actually much bigger than that. I want to create a clear, scalable, and effective model of church that every single small to medium-sized church in the world can use to make a difference in their community for God. The future is bright, and together we can change the world. God bless.